So the HD21 trial is hotly awaited. You know, it's, uh, it's the next big trial to come from the German Hodgkin study group who really do lead the world, you know, with the studies they produce in classical Hodgkin lymphoma. And what they're looking at, they're comparing escalated BCOP given according to their HD18 approach. So this is advanced stage Hodgkin patients. So the current standard is escalated BCOP times two interim pets. If that pet's negative, it's two more. If the pet's positive, it's four more. So it's a pet interim pet directed approach. And many centers in the UK would use that, although we tend to use escalated BCOP DAC for various reasons rather than escalated BCOP. Uh, so we do use that approach. And what they're doing is in comparing that with BRICAD, which is similar to escalated BCOP, but they change the procarbazine to decarbazine. They omit bleomycin and they put in brentuximab vedotin. They slightly change the etoposide and doxorubicin dose, and they get rid of the vincristine. Uh, they also change the steroid, actually, from prednisolone to decarbazine. So it's quite a sort of re modeling of the escalated BCOP approach in a very rational way, I think. And what they're hoping to show is it's less toxic. So it's essentially a toxicity question. The, the trial is actually a non-inferiority study. So they want to show that it's as effective as escalated BCOP, uh, but less toxic. And if it is, that is, again, in my view, practice changing. You know, why would you use escalated BCOP if you've got an equally effective but less toxic regimen? However, it uses brentuximab vedotin. That's still a relatively expensive drug. So it will then have to go through licensing and uh, nice appraisal. So we would be quite a way off from using it in the UK. But there would, I think, be a lot of sort of impetus to, to get that process uh, going, because absolutely it could, it could change our practice.